Okay, I've had quite a few requests asking for a video walk around of the car. So here it is. At the moment, it's just set on the standard wheels whilst I'm organizing the MOT for it. As you can see, I've given the car a quick once over and the paint is pretty good. The car was repainted tail end of 2017 into the start of 28, no, sorry, tail end of 2018 into 2019. So the paint is pretty fresh. It's been sat in the unit here for just over a year. So I've given it a very quick once over. I think a stage one machine polish would probably be a good shout just to get rid of some of the surface stuff that's on the paint. Um, the original rear lights at the moment are still on the car for MOT. However, the all red tinted lights are here, which have been professionally 2K'd, red, cleared, the whole nine yards. They are absolutely perfect. So they come with the car as well. Obviously the wheels, the Schmidt model lines are here. Full set, black caps. They've all got 19540 16 tires and they're 16 by nine ET15 with as new, as you can see, apart from the dirt, Nankang NS20s. So budget tire, but they're all basically brand new. The exhaust is here. It's a custom two and a half inch stainless with a single rear box, 61 manifold. I'll pop the bonnet in just a moment. So just to run you down the other side of the car as well. There is not a single dent over the whole car. So the whole car is completely dent free. The front end is pretty good. There is, I mean, you, to be honest, I can't even see on the camera right now, but you've got like literally the tiniest of stone chips on the front. The front bumper is one or two, if that. So it's pretty good. I'll move around to the inside of the glass. Sunroof is the Passat B4 moonroof, all working. Spoilers are working as well. Inside the car. So it's Momo Team 280. The gear lever is Mark IV gear lever. It's actually a Mark IV, but it's like a Mark III. I beat the Cupra O2J shifter, which reduces the throw. It's got a short shift as well. The seats at the moment are just standard Corrado cloth seats, which have been bolting back in today. So they're all in, all good. Mark IV handbrake, which just tidy things up a little bit. And then in the back, we've got JVC 12 inch subwoofer, which is all bolted in. Underneath this piece of floor, which is just self tapped down, so it's easy enough to remove. Underneath the floor is the amps and all the wiring. And it's all run by a JVC unit. And there's the airlift controller. The car was a JVC sort of like demo slash show car for quite a bit. So that's basically where it's come from. In the boot, we have the boot build with the rear cage, which is all bolted through the rear arches and through the floor. The rear door cards have been cut to get around the cage. So it's relatively neat, not too bad. This was going to be hard lined. Whether it would be hard lined in time for sale, I'm not actually sure but there's already bulkhead fittings there, 3 8 and then in the end of the tank, it's all 3 8 lines, basically ready to run hard lines for that. I will just pop the bonnet and go to the engine bay. Bonnet cable has been replaced, so no problems there. Bonnet cable was replaced about a year or two ago. Oh, heaviest bonnet in the world. Okay, so engine bay. Given a fresh clean up today. Got an SWG scuttle panel, which has been painted satin black. They all catch on the bonnet, it's a bloody common thing, it drives me mad. You've got a Bonrath, uh, I can't remember the model of it, but yeah, Bonrath intake, four pin math. It's an OBD1, but you'll notice it's coil pack engine and plastic rocker cover. So it's one of the last OBD1s. So OBD1 2.9, but you'll know it's OBD1 because you've got all the controls for the idle stabilization valve and stuff all there, which on the OBD2s you don't, and the throttle body is different, etc. But it does have a four pin math, plastic rocker cover, and coil pack rather than dizzy. Battery's fairly new. Um, coolant's all there, you can't see it's fairly clear, but he's up to level. Uh, not really much else to say, engine bay wise, truth be told, you can't actually see from here, but it is a stainless 61 manifold there, all heat wrapped. The engine has been rebuilt, was done so a couple of years ago with all the head done and the bottom end done. I'll wrap this one up for now and what I'll do is another video of the actual car running.